So guys, we put the point, I mean who start, decide to start. We need to only find a good trophy. Why don't you shoot a couple more? Again, huh? Robbie hasn't shot this gun yet. This is the first time, so he's just getting used to that trigger pull. It's real important, especially when you're to, on that. To feel it well. Yeah. Yeah. Just every gun's a little different on the trigger pull, so just getting familiar with it so you're no, you know when it's going to go off. Yes, because now we have time. Good team. Good That's team. right. Yeah. Glad to be here. Everybody ready? We're ready. We're ready. Oh, cool. We left the camp about one hour ago. We come up one draw and, and maybe three rams, maybe maybe more. We're looking to see how big they are. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Right, it's only one hour we start. Beautiful, nice sunny morning. I'm hunting here at the Global Safaris, and yesterday we got into uh, the main camp and had a beautiful night's sleep. Actually, the day before, had a beautiful night's sleep, beautiful breakfast. Got up in the morning and rode out about three hours to uh, our spike camp. Saw probably 12 rams, not the kind of ram we're looking for, but some nice, nice sheep. This morning we wake up to sunshine, ibex above us, and some sheep out here. Well the sheep bedded down. There's a there's two rams in there that we're gonna definitely go look at and get a better look. But they look like shooters from a couple kilometers away for sure. We're gonna take our time, get over there. The rams are the sheep are bedded. There's over 50 sheep bedded down and the wind is not in our favor. So we're gonna kinda sneak over there to see what can happen. Let's see what see what happens. But the sheep, I am told in this country, they're not hunted hard. So if they spook, we might run them a kilometer and lay back down. So we'll um, have we'll, a good we'll, chance we'll, anyway. Yeah, we'll pick our, we'll pick away, we'll pick away, and we'll see what we can do. We we'll have a good time. It's game time now, baby. Let's try. Man, weather is good. Sun. Yeah, weather is good. Sun's out. Can't and ask for anything. Mood better. is good. Like we have good mood today. Everything's great. Double breakfast. <laughs> yeah, two breakfasts. Yes. We're sheep hunting, man. Yes. I love it. Let's Can't go. go wrong. Let's, Let's go, go man. Get in shape if you come here. Oh man.
My only hope is this country's broken up enough for the wind. You know, going straight to them. The wind might just kind of go around this mountain. Up oh, Frank, Frank, we speak about wind all morning today, but we should remember one thing. Even if they start to run, they will stop. Yeah. So, I hope we get yeah. it. These sheep don't get any pressure like a lot of places. If they wind us and they run, they'll probably run anyway, a kilometer we can take right horses too. and reach them. Then we get back on the horses. Because and the we already know what we need. We have our object. Yeah, we've got the ram spot we want. Let's run it. Yes! Great shoot, man! Yes, man! Yeah. Pull down, pull down, just wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. It's okay, just wait, uh, just patient. No, 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 no need, no need, no need, no need. You are real. You are real, man. Oh. The Frank, today, get his Jaishan <laughs> Argali. And I tell you guys, I'm happy more than he is. Yeah, I'm happy. It was great two shots, it was quick shots. Even I saw ballistic of the bullet. I'm Frank Maestri, hunting with Global Outfitters, the Asif, uh, 15 miles from the uh, Chinese border. It's pretty neat. Um, I've had a fantastic hunt. One, it's, one my, it's one of my dream animals. I, I always wanted to get a trophy, our golly. And uh, my dream came true today. We uh, hunted to day number four. We passed up lots of 48, 49 inch rams. But we were looking for something special. And my guide and, and they see, we just kept going, kept going, kept going. Lots of cold nights, cold days and wind. We kept going, we got a great, beautiful ram. I'm very, very pleased with everybody. If anybody wants to go on a mountain hunt that won't break the bank, cheaper than a lot of doll hunts in the United States and, and Alaska and the Yukon, this is where to go. Awesome country, beautiful mountains. It's a place to go for mountain sheep hunt, especially on a budget. Asif, what do you think about the hunt? The first guys, I really congratulate uh, Frank with this trophy. You see how it's difficult to hold it. This Frank already tired of all this heavy, massive trophy. It was difficult days for us, not because of honey, because of weather conditions. It was really cold, guys, at night and windy. But finally, we faced sun weather. And what is not surprises but make us happy, a lot of game, a lot of animals. You just select what you want. Any minutes you can have to see animals. We pass many chips. Past me, we said, no, let's try, we have time. And finally, uh, today morning, the, our guide saw about 50 rams in the morning. Uh, that's right, 50 rams. 50 rams was morning, yes, yeah. and all rams, one no females. Yeah. And we start to looking for it. We go to climb the mountains by horse, next mountain, second mountain. Finally, we find it. And the wind, 
What is the problem here in Kyrgyzstan, guys? Watch your about wind because wind is really worse and you must be ready. And it change every every five minutes because you can't start from the left side and we turn to the right side. If it happens with us, animal probably smell us. But thank you for the guides. We could come uh, come close as I know I knew it was close, but it was not close. It was 450 yards. Too far. Not for you. Too far shoot. Not for you, man. So for my camera was close. <laughs> <laughs> and I really thank the guys, of course, but I always say thank for Hunter who no misses two shoots. Really thank you very much. Oh. Because it's not only our job. If the hunter miss, what we can do? Yeah. So it was great me, great shoot and great hunt. When Kyrgyzstan today we try to back to the base because we need to change our dress, our gear, which is work well. The coup is great, honestly. I like it too much. Uh, the, the guys brought me some new Yukon and so on. So I'm very happy. It helped us to hunting because if not Kui gear, I will face problem differently. So Kui gear is number one. Number one, guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's really helpful. In these weather conditions, really great one. Yes. So hunting time, Kui time. <laughs> See you soon for the Ibex hunt. We continue, man. Thank you very much. Good job, man. Good, good job. Thank good you time. very much. Yesterday we were fortunate enough to be able to harvest a beautiful sheep, lifelong dream, dream of mine. We had a great night's sleep last night, relaxed most of the day today, recovered from some cold nights and some long horseback rides. While we were relaxing, the guides went out scouting for ibex. Uh, they found an ibex probably one and a half hours horseback ride. We're gonna go look, see if we can make things happen. If not, we're gonna come back here tonight and uh, we start again early in the morning to go out for a fly camp for a few days. Looking forward to it, it's gonna be a good time. It was up. Uh -huh. He stayed. One meter, he go left. Get rid of this. No, no, no. Go down. We have three good ibex, maybe 800 yards away. We're going to wait for them to get up and feed closer to about 400 yards. And we're going to try to shoot one. We have time, so we're just waiting for them to get closer. Three good ones.
Ibex hunting is fantastic. Very difficult, very rewarding. You have weather, you have swirling winds, animals with good eyesight, very wary. Fantastic. I'm Frank Maestri, hunting with the sea from Global Safaris. This is day number six of our mid-Asian ibex hunt. Um, absolutely 100% pleased. Had a fantastic time. The, uh, the mid-Asian ibex is one of the most challenging mountain, a mountain animals to hunt. I've, I've been fortunate enough to complete the Grand North American Grand Slam of wild sheep, and the mid-Asian ibex ranks way up there in challenge. And fortunately, the price of the hunts are way down. So you get great experience, you get the cold weather, the, 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 the uh, beautiful mountains, you have the, the strenuous of the hunt, strenuous hunt, everything in one package at a low price, beautiful. I, I, lo I love it. We killed him at seven o'clock in the morning, 385 yards, no problems. Um, we had a great time. Asif has a great staff. If you've ever worried about hunting internationally, do not worry. This is my first international hunt. Guys, there is a whole world out there to explore. I was worried about it. My first time overseas hunting, I'm gonna keep doing it. This is fantastic. I'm gonna book another hunt here for two years. Uh, I'm really, I'm pumped. There's a whole world out there to explore, guys. Asif, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> what said Frank is, Totally true. I agree with him about all of his words. It's interesting situations that even cold weather, wind, suffering made us happy here because the hunter enjoys everything what he faced during the hunt. Doesn't matter what we face, like suffering or difficulties, it makes us happy and you see result. So because of this, and honestly speaking, not because of this. Trophy is important, but experience. Experience, yeah. Look, 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 look what we see. Yeah, <laughs> like you cannot come here every day. Yeah. So you must feel, you must enjoy of any minute you stay here in mountains with great guides, with great nature. Uh, how many Ibex we saw during these days, guys? How many? It, it was incredible. Yesterday evening even, when we was glassing to the left side, it was three, four Ibex here. 20 ibex to the right side, immediately group of maybe 30 ibex came from <laughs> up. We, we, we was just, we couldn't move too, any. Too many, too many. Too many and you, you don't know what to do, which one. Yeah. But but this place of course is better uh, morning, not evening. Because morning. for the evening he come down but it became dark, so difficult to see. And as you see, Frankie from the morning shoots this great ibex. It was, I mean, we're waiting about maybe 20 minutes like yeah. it was quick because yeah. the guides thank you for the guides they brought us in the right direction right position even we was waiting how the ibex was eating no wind mm -hmm. ibex didn't see us probably was feeling because sometimes he watch he was looking to our side but again back to the eating totally what i can say about trip of frank it was for me i don't know how about frank for me, it was really interesting trip. The sheep hunting was interesting. Ibex hunting was interesting. Like, it not it was not easy, easy, easy. It was really interesting. What's mean interesting? It's mean it's it happens some things which you unexpected things which make your hunting interesting. Because when you know exactly that you will shoot this animal, is it interesting? Of course not. So it makes us interesting to come and see how we can, how we are strong here. Because people, you understand people here in the nature, not in the office, in the city. In the city, everybody's strong.
but real person real real person you can you can understand the, who is he <laughs> so frank it was his first international trip and i have said before i didn't feel it was international because i just knew it about three days four days ago so it may make me surprised but you shoot uh, most of north american ship yeah yes yeah. so uh, from these days Frank started his international trips and we already has planned for Azerbaijan oh, and yeah. rest trips. I'm hooked. International is yes. the way to go. Step by step. You get you get a lot of bang for your buck internationally and traveling expenses are less than traveling domestically in the United, in the United States. It'll really surprise you when you start. I, I always say, Frank, your time is going, our time is going yeah. because in days you understand that you're already old Enjoy and what you, did, you, did you do in your life? Sit at home. You yeah. should traveling. You should spend your time. Enjoy. You should spend your money. Enjoy family. Enjoy, enjoy yeah. hunting. Enjoy everything. Enjoy everything. Yeah. We say again, thank you for Kui Company, which uh, makes it happens. Also for the gear, I really appreciate for Kui uh, for Kui Group. They give me really really good and provide us really good gear. And we again send, say thank you very much for Mike Morning. Our partner, our friend, who also help us with this trip. Yeah, Mike Monin made it very stress-free putting this hunt together. And Kuyu, thank you very much. You make you guys make the trip um, very comfortable with the clothing you, you La give us. Looks like we have great team, good hunters, yeah. and Robbie, Jason yesterday also get his trophy. So guys, now time to back to civilization. Let me drink some vodka. If you drink, I don't. I drink very so little. So maybe, maybe, maybe guys waiting for you now. <laughs> so I can get late again with your hunting. Yeah, with your good trip. time, good time. Kyrgyzstan down, guys. Kyrgyzstan yeah. down. And we have champion of Kyrgyzstan here. <laughs> thank you okay, very much. Thank see you. you. See you guys.